Hello friends, in this video, we will discuss about the given problem, design a code converter that converts a decimal digit from the 84 minus 2 minus 1 code to BCD. In this design means we have to develop the circuit diagram for code converter that converts a decimal digit. Decimal digit means 10. For 10 digits, we have to convert 84 minus 2 minus 1 code to BCD. BCD means a binary coded decimal. Now, to design the circuit diagram for code converter, first we should follow the design procedure. The design procedure is having different steps. The first one is write a truth table based on the given data. The second one is obtain simplified Boolean functions using k-maps. Third one is draw a combinational logic circuit for code converter. Why I am using combinational logic circuit name here? Because code converter itself is a combinational logic circuit type. Because the output depends on the only present values of the inputs. That's why the code converter is nothing but a combinational logic circuit which is used to convert the 84 minus 2 minus 1 code to BCD code. Now we should start with the truth table. Now this is the truth table. In this truth table already I have written everything. Now I will explain in detail step by step. First we should start with the second column, decimal digits. This is the given data. Decimal digits are 0 to 9, totally 10. This is the input code 84 minus 2 minus 1 code. PCD code is output code. Now 84 minus 2 minus 1 are weights of the 84 minus 2 minus 1 code. Similarly, BCD code means binary code decimal. It is also called as 8421 code. Okay. Why I am using BCD code only with 8421? Because BCD full form is binary coded decimal. Nothing but the decimal digits should write using binary data. Decimal digits are 0 to 9 only. So the largest digit is 9. So to write the 9 using binary, it requires 4 bits. Okay. So based on the binary bits, 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3. That's why it requires 4 bits. Okay. That's why I'm using only 4 binary bits. Because the equivalent bits are 2 power 0 equal to 1, 2 power 1 equal to 2, 2 power 2 equal to 4. Similarly, 2 power 3 equal to 8. So, the BCD code also called as 8421 code and also called as it is a weighted code. Okay. Now, based on these 84 minus 2 minus 1 weights, we should write the equivalent bits for these 0 to 9 decimal digits. Okay. First, start with 0. For 0, all the bits should be 0 because when we add all these weights, of 84 minus 2 minus 1 code, it doesn't give the 0. Next, for 1, with the help of these weights, we have to place binary 1s. 1 becomes as 4 plus minus 2 plus minus 1. Okay, nothing but when we add these 3 weights, it gives 1. That's why in these 3 positions, we have to place binary 1s. Okay, similarly, 2. 2 means 4 minus 2. Nothing but we have to add 4 and minus 2. Then it gives the resultant value 2. That's why in these two positions we have to place 1s. The remaining bits should be 0. 9. 9 means 8 plus 4, 12. 12 minus 2, 10. 10 minus 1, 9. Therefore, in all positions we have to place 1s. In this way we have to write the 84 minus 2 minus 1 code for decimal digits 0 to 9. And one more easy way to write these 84 minus 2 minus 1 code is 0 to 9 means totally 10. Now split into two parts. 0 to 4, this is the first section. Similarly, 5 to 9, this is the second section. Okay. For the first section, the leftmost MSB should be filled with all zeros. For second section, the leftmost position filled with all ones. Okay, these are fixed. Now, based on these fixed values only, we have to fill the remaining positions. This is the easy way of writing the 84 minus 2 minus 1 code. Now, BCD code. BCD code also called as a weighted code and also called as 8421 code. Based on 8421, we have to fill 0 to 9. So, now we should write the minimum numbers for this 84 minus 2 minus 1 code values. Okay. Now, based on the binary weights, we should write the equivalent minimum number. For these four variables, the binary weights are 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, and 2 power 3. That means 1, 2, 4, 8. Now, for the first code, 0, 0, 0, 0. The equivalent minimum value is 0. 
0, 1, 1, 1. 1, 1 means 4 plus 2 plus 1. Equivalent mean term is 7. In this way, we should write the equivalent mean term values. Now, we should write the Boolean functions in SOP form for output variables W, X, Y, Z. For W, the SOP form which is having mean term numbers, the mean term values are 8 and 15 because when we are writing the SOP form only, we should consider the equivalent mean term value for ones. Therefore, in these two positions, we have ones. Therefore, the corresponding mean term numbers are 8 and 15. Okay. That's why sigma m of 815, these are mean term numbers. Plus, this is sigma d. Sigma d means don't care values. Why I am taking don't care values? Because here we have unused numbers. You can see here 0 to 15. In between, so many numbers we have. Okay. What is the largest number here? 15. 15 means the binary form is 1, 1, 1, 1. So, with 4 bits, how many binary combinations can we write? 2 power 4 combinations. Totally 16 combinations we have to fill. What are the unused numbers? In these numbers, we have to identify. Whatever the missing numbers, those are unused numbers. Okay. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are available. Next, 8, 9, 10, 11 also available. Next, 12, 13, 14. 15 is available. Okay. So, the missing midterm numbers, nothing but unused numbers. Use these unused numbers used as don't care so in KMAPs to get the simplified Boolean functions. Next, for Z, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. In these five positions, we have ones. Okay. The corresponding midterms are 7, 5, 11, 9, 15. Okay. Plus the don't care. So these are the Boolean functions from truth table only. Now we have to simplify these Boolean functions using K-maps. So to simplify the Boolean functions, it requires four, four variable K-maps because the number of input variables are four. Okay, the input variables are A, B, C, D. That's why the leftmost two variables should take on left side, rightmost two variables should take on right side. Okay, for these two variables, Totally four combinations, 0, 0, 0, 1. After 0, 1, 1, 1, we should write. After that, 1, 0, we have to take. Because this game map is designed based on the gray code. Okay, gray code are also called as a unit distance code. Okay, for CD also, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. Now, take the Boolean function of W, sigma M, 815, and don't care values. Okay, so in the place of 8 and 15, we have to place 1s. And, and place don't care in these positions. Now try to make the groups. Okay. Now for this one, this is adjacent with this 12 box. 8, 12, this is one group. This one means this is adjacent with this don't care so that it is a one quad. Okay. So two groups we have. Now this is the first group and this is the second group. Okay. For the first group, this group lies in this row and all columns. This row means the values are 1, 1. 1, 1 means 1, 1 means A, B. Okay. C and D should be skipped because equal number of zeros and equal number of 1s for C and D. Next, for the second group, this second group lies in, in these two rows and the first column only. In these two rows for A, 1, 1 is common. Therefore, A. Next, it lies in first vertical column only. Therefore, 0, 0, C dash, D dash. Similarly, for the remaining three Boolean functions also, we should get the simplified Boolean expressions. This is the second K map for a second Boolean function. X equal to, these are the minimum values, so these are the don't care values. So this one is adjacent with the, this don't care. Okay, one and don't care. This is the one group. These two don't care are adjacent with these two ones. Okay, so this is one pad. This is second group. Next, two, these two don't care are adjacent with these two. Therefore, it is another pad. This is the third group. For these three groups, we have to write the equivalent products. For the first group, B, C dash, D dash. Okay. For the second group, B dash, D. Next, for the third group, the in same rows and the last two columns. Okay. Same rows means B dash. Last two columns means for C, 1. Okay. 1 is common. Therefore, C. D should be skipped. This is the simplified Boolean expression for X. Students, you can observe here, some don't cares are missing in groups. It is not compulsory to make 
groups with all don't cares but there is a mandatory to make groups with all ones this is for why okay this is the third game map based on the minimum numbers and don't cares so we have to place and then we have to make the groups so this is the first pad this is the second pad for the first group this group lies in all rows okay all rows means ab should be skipped so vertically the group lies in second column 0 1 that means c dash d next for the second group the second group also lies in all rows and last column so ab should be skipped and for last column 1 0 means c d dash that's why the simplified expression is for the first group c dash d for the second group c d dash so its equivalent value is c is exclusive or with the d this is for chat these ones and don't care so form as one octet now this group also lies in all rows and vertically in middle two columns okay therefore ab should be skipped and vertically for c 0 1 therefore c should be skipped for d 1 1 therefore d okay therefore z equal to d 1 d based on these boolean functions we should develop the circuit diagram actually here i have developed the circuit diagram using logism software even manually also we can draw the circuit diagram this is the combination of circuit diagram for code converter so w equal to a b plus a c dash d dash a b means this is the one and gate this is another and gate for this and gate only two inputs okay this is and gate a and b similarly a c dash d dash this is a three input and gate next these two outputs should be odd because this is the plus symbol this is the w in the same way we should draw the x x equal to b c dash d dash so take another three input and gate next to c dash d dash means already I have used not gate to get the C dash. Okay, this is a C dash, this is D dash. So C dash D dash. Okay. Next to B dash D. B dash means from B, I have to connect the not gate. Then it gives the B dash. So B dash and D. Next one, B dash C. Next to these three outputs should be R. Next to this is Y. Y means simply instead of this bigger equation, I have replaced with the C exclusive R D. Therefore, I have used the exclusive R gate. So the inputs are C and D only. This is Y. Next to Z equal to D. So this is the circuit diagram which is developed with the help of logism software. And I have verified each and every combination of truth table. You can see here for the 84 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 1 1. For this the corresponding DCD is 0 0 0 1. That's why here this is black 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 means of Red means on, on means one value. Okay. Next, this is another example 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1 is the equivalent to BCD from truth table. These two are on. In this way, I have verified each and every combination with the help of the logism software. This is the screenshot from logism software I have taken. So, if you want in the next video, I will do the complete explanation how to simulate using the logism software. If you are satisfied with my videos, please like and subscribe to my channel and share to your friends too. Thank you.